All right, let, let me let me try this. I got an idea for a take here. I got a nice upgrade that'll keep you pressing with confidence. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Do you like buttons, but hate hearing them? Well, in today's video, we will be covering the newest micro switch silent buttons brought to you by our sponsor, Kamba. Do you like pressing buttons, but hate hearing them? Well, today's video is all about a button upgrade. Did I, I said butt upgrade? <sighs> Do you like pressing buttons, but hate hearing them? Well, today's video, we're gonna be talking about the newest micro switch silent button upgrade from Kwamba. Stick around. Welcome back Button Club members to another product review video here on the channel. Today, as you know, we're going to be talking about the Kwamba Gravity Button, okay? These buttons have been on the market for relatively a couple of years now, I wanna say. And I would say most recently, they have become some of the most favorite or preferred buttons for people who are looking for a silent option and something that has a micro switch in it. Now, the ones that we're gonna be talking about today are the KS series from Kwamba, okay? And that basically is the short throw version. So the travel time when you're pressing this button is shorter, probably more similar to a Sanwa button. And they have the press in tabs here when you wanna put it into your arcade stick of choice. Um, I'm pretty sure the KS's only come in this tabbed option here where the regular uh, gravity buttons you can get, I think tabbed also and uh, screw on, depending on what your preference is. So why these buttons, right? Well, I was interested in trying these out because they were new and they spoke about having a custom micro switch in here and the fact that they were silent. Silent buttons are always an attraction for me because as you know, people, your opponents are always listening to your inputs when they're right next to you. I'm sure my, my brother would attest to that. You know, maybe if I punish super, he'd be like, you heard me mash and you heard me hitting that. Um, so I think silent buttons are, are great for the, um, you know, to kind of hide, mask some of your inputs and what you're doing. Uh, what sets this button apart from others is the fact that it has a custom made micro switch in here, an Omron micro switch. So that's obviously really cool. When you compare it to other micro switch buttons that are out there, like the Crowns, um, who use a Cherry MX switch, this is very different. A benefit to the Crown series might be the fact that you can get different micro switches to adjust the feel of it, right? You can get speed silvers, reds, blue clickies, browns or blacks that have more of a, you know, a stiffer actuation force. This guy does not have that mod ability. This switch that you get is the switch that you can use with it basically. But I'm pretty sure if you're buying this button and you wanna get the KS series version of this, you're looking for a short throw button, you kind of already know what you're looking for. And maybe it's best that you don't have all these micro switch options kind of clouding up your brain, right? So real quick before I take this apart to show you all of its um, innards and glory, I did want to show you the difference in sound on an arcade stick, okay? So here, as you know, we have the Victrix Pro Fight Stick, one of our favorites here. This is the wife's and we gave her all white gravity buttons so you can hear really nice sound you know you've hit it but it's not anything super loud and and that you're missing that that clack that bottoming out of the button plunger into the housing this black button here is a, your standard Sanwa button that comes with all of these Victrixes and all you know a whole bunch of other arcade sticks and this is the sound difference ready So um, there are so many other silent type buttons out there, okay? Sanwa makes a silent button, the, it's called the Gen 2s. The plunger itself is actually made of a like rubber compound. So when it bottoms out on the housing, it doesn't make so much of a loud clack, but you can still hear and feel it bottoming out. You can also take your standard Sanwa button, and put the silencer foam pads on the inside so that when your button does bottom out, you get absolutely no sound. You also miss out on some of that bottoming out feedback. And I think the biggest complaint with the silent uh, foam pads for the Sanwa button is people just find them really mushy. 
And, and that kind of takes away from the tactile feel when they're, you know, pressing their buttons and pressing with, with vigor, you're right? You're trying to get that super. So obviously it's called a silent button, but it's not completely soundless, okay? What makes this button so interesting is what it's bottoming out on. So instead of a foam pad, it's actually hitting a relatively thick silicone piece of rubber on the bottom. It's got much better feedback because it's not mushy like a foam pad would be. You still feel it bottoming out with that response, but because it's a silicone rubberized material, it absorbs all that impact without taking away from the feel and dampening that sound. All right, so next let's take apart the Quamba gravity button so we can see what's on the inside and what makes it so special. So here on the sides of the button housing, we have just these tiny little tabs that the plunger can stay within on. And I don't even need a tool for this. Luckily, I can just use my fingers and we're able to remove the button plunger here. So that was obviously really easy. I find it more difficult in other button styles. I usually need like a screwdriver to take it off, but these things can be pretty delicate. We don't wanna break that tab. That's what keeps the button itself inside of the housing. So this button is customizable because you can actually, there's, there's two pieces here. When you separate the two, you can actually add artwork in between here. So if you wanted a cool picture or if you had uh, custom artwork on your arcade stick, you could actually remove the, uh, the little circular piece that comes from your artwork place it in here and have a, a relatively seamless look or just a unique little picture in there to remind you of a button or whatever. And then here I'll show you closely, you can see, bam, there we go. That's your Omron switch right there on the inside. You can hear that. All right, now I'm gonna take out the silencer silicone pad. Here we have right here. So this is it, this is what's giving you the, the soundless actuation and that nice feel. It's pretty thick too, honestly. And then we can get a better shot here of the micro switch. So you can actually, if you're someone who would prefer to not have the silencer pad in there, you're like, you know what? I wanna hear these clacky buttons. I just wanna make sure that I have uh, a nice micro switch in there. There it is completely removed. You get your pretty typical sound back. And uh, one thing to also note, because the silencer uh, silicone pad is taking up extra space within the button housing, when you press the button all the way down, now the button plunger goes all the way into the button housing. You can barely see it at all right there because it's within the housing. When this silicone silencer pad is, is inside of it, the button doesn't actually go within all the way on the housing. It kind of just sits a little more flush up top, maybe something more like that if I had to guess. So it is taking up a little bit of space in there, but that's not ruining the actuation uh, travel time at all because the micro switch is what it is. And then you get this cool little gravity logo on the bottom here. If you like the feel of a Sanwa button, because these are the KS series, short throw, short actuation, I think this is relatively similar to a Sanwa button, but the quality I think is just so much better, honestly. Uh, having the silencer silicone pad in there really makes a big, big difference. The customized switch that they have, how easy it is to take apart. It doesn't feel like a very fragile button. Um, there's times where like I've gone in with a screwdriver to undo the, um, the button plunger on the Sanwas have been like, man, I really hope I don't break this button right now. Now, the price on these buttons are a little more pricey. They're actually more like double the price of a typical classic Sanwa button. That doesn't include the, the metallic series or anything, just button to button. Um, these are double the price. These are less than $5 a piece. Um, we bought quite a few of these during the Black Friday sale that Arcade Shock had, so you can check out Arcade Shock for that. Uh, you know, I should say that Quamba nor Arcade Shock has sponsored this video. We have just purchased these buttons on our own accord to do a review for you guys, so you're more informed as to, uh, you know, something that you might want to try on your arcade sticks at home. So yeah, these come in at just under $5 a button, and I think the first button that we want to compare this to, uh, I know I mentioned crown in the beginning, but the crown buttons I wouldn't say aren't silent. They don't have any silencer pad on the inside. The switches themselves are silent, but you still hear 
plastic to plastic contact from the button plunger moving within the housing and those little tabs that catch in on the housing to keep it in there. I find this to be a far more silent button than the crowns. And I think the only other thing that you can compare these two would be the Gamer Finger buttons. Gamer Finger is a very, very popular button um, who has been using micro switches in it for probably one of the first people actually to put micro switches that we use in our keyboards inside for an arcade style button. The only thing about the Gamer Finger buttons is not only was it very difficult to get your hands on a set of Gamer Finger buttons, but they cost twice as much as this guy does right here. This being less than $5, you're spending $10 a button on a Gamer Finger button. Now, you also can have the customization uh, ability when you wanna change out the switches on there, but like I said before, Maybe you don't wanna mess with all that. Maybe you're like, you know, I just want a nice fast button. I wanna have to think about which switches I need. The cost is less. The feeling is similar. I think if you are, if it's like your first time venturing into a micro switch silent button and you're, you're not interested in spending $10 a button, this is obviously a button for you and I highly recommend it. I've played on Gamer Finger buttons. I don't have massive amount of hours on Gamer Finger buttons, especially by comparison to uh, the amount of time I have on the gravity buttons. But I really don't think I could tell a difference initially. They, they both were quiet. They both didn't feel like a silent button. They actuated very quickly and felt super responsive. So I, I think for the price, this is a better button. You can get this almost anywhere. Like I said, arcadeshock.com, where if you wanna pick up a set of Gamer Finger buttons, you're relying on maybe Amazon, or uh, they have like two different websites up by themselves. So it's really hard to be like, well, which website do I trust? Which website do I try? At one point, I wanted to try some Gamer Finger buttons, and it took months for them to even come in to the point that we even just canceled the order outright, and I decided to settle on some crown buttons in the meantime. So with all that being said, you can tell I am a fan of the Quamba Gravity buttons. If I had to give these a button club rating, I would say these knock it out of the park and do everything that they're supposed to. Five buttons, five out of five. These things are great. I have picked them up for uh, my fight stick, for my wife's arcade stick. I used it in my leverless and mine so does my brother so they really are super popular and there's been people who show up to button club that have tried them and have really really liked them shout outs to uh tomlet who also rocks them and is a big enjoyer of the uh the gravity buttons so i really can't say enough if you're interested in this you want to try out something new without being supremely different and awkward. I highly recommend the gravity button. Before we wrap this up, I just wanna say thank you to everyone. The amount of subscribers that we've gained recently has been through the roof and has really blown me away. All the likes and comments. I know people have been really dying for this video. I'm sorry it took so long, but I just really wanted to get an in-depth feeling for these buttons. There was even a moment where I switched back to San Juas to be like, are oh, these buttons really that great? Yes, yes they are. So thank you so much for all the love and attention on the channel. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe if you haven't yet, comment down below what you think of the Quamba Gravity buttons, if you have them or what buttons you're using and what you enjoy. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Thank you so much and keep pressing them buttons. I'm Karate Kevin from Button Club. I don't like spending money and I bought these buttons. <laughs>